Hello, my name is Mr. Subhakrit. I am from Bangkok, Thailand. Today, I am going to show you what I believe about the post-COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic travel experience. The purpose for this presentation is to share my audience that traveling experience may change dramatically after the COVID-19 situation. COVID-19 is an unstoppable pandemic from December 2019 until now. It was initially found in Wuhan, the People's Republic of China. Until now, there are about 3.85 million people infected around the world. In order to stop the infection or to prevent the infection, almost every country has announced the travel restrictions, which we'll be showing you later, to ban or restrict travelers from entering the country. There were 97% flight reduction for the plane travel. And it is very interesting to see what traveling the plane will be like after that situation, the COVID-19. During the COVID-19 situation, every country has issued travel restrictions for all foreigners and most of the local residents to exit or enter the country. Most of the airports were closed and suspended. Quarantine assessments 14 days in almost all the countries for every local residents and some foreigners. There were time pressure checkpoints at every airport for returning local residents to make sure that health is perfectly held. If they're not well, they need to immediately proceed to health control. I will show you the travel restrictions in shortly. Okay, here's the travel restrictions in the US. Non-U.S. citizens visited the countries about for the past 14 days will be denied entry. So the entry restrictions, exemptions, only passengers will be permitted to land on the following airports like in Boston, Chicago, Los Angeles, or New York. And all the U.S. citizens will go to the quarantine assessment or maybe go on to the 14-day quarantine. This is all the entry restrictions in the U.S. After the COVID-19 situation, all the previously mentioned travel restrictions will remain the same and immigration will be more highly strict. However, the immigration officer will ask to declare the travel history within the past 14 days, which means 14 days back counting from the arrival state and ask for the medical certificate to prove that you are fit to fly. So I'm uh, moving on to like onboard modification in flight service, like the cabin crew and passengers are required to wear face masks for all flight, commercial flight service. For the seating arrangement, I will show you in shortly. The seating arrangement is there's a temporary, temporary modified seating plans because of the social distancing, like one to two meters, something like when people, so you can see the pictures, they're like a covered in a privacy, to prevent the seating service and then that's in the future travel there is no one sitting left because of the social distancing there's onboard service modification like new service on some commercial flights comes with a packed food there might not be a pillow blanket or headphones offered the plane to avoid the infection from reusable material after the flight, the cleaning time will be longer than normal to provide deep cleaning, like five hours or more, by trained professional to disinfect the aircraft. Airline schedule and chicken pricing. The schedule of the flight will be reduced because there will be less traveler, more time to deep clean, and airline of small companies will be faced like problems on financing and will be merged to the larger one. And travel will have less sources to select. Flight ticket prices will be higher because airlines will have more costs and expense. And I believe that ticket prices will be a little bit higher than normal due to the reduced flight in COVID-19 situation. So I will show you that the flight schedule looks like during the COVID and after COVID-19. So here's the flight schedule from Boston to Hong Kong. That's for example, from the week of June 29th, 
the first three days of the week, there is no flight because due to the COVID-19, after all that, the flight will be tentatively resumed, but the schedule might change. That's all for that. In conclusion, COVID-19 pandemic had slightly affected the travel experience in many aspects in the near future. So traveling by plane will be considered not necessary and luxurious because people will find other ways to connect with each other. So technologies can be very big, like the Skype, Hangouts, Meets, and Zoom, and also the FaceTime or Facebook messengers. Only necessary thing for traveling by plane will be needed. So thank you for watching the presentation. So if you need more videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any thoughts, please comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.